your Bibles this morning, turn with me to the book of Isaiah, chapter 36. I'm sorry, I'm not Isaiah, Ezekiel, for her, won't you? Ezekiel, chapter 36. Ezekiel chapter 36, we're going to start at verse 23. Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse 23. And I will sanctify my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, which you have profaned in their midst. And the nation shall know that I am the Lord saith the Lord God. When I am hallowed, my battery is dead. When I, we, when I am hallowed in you before their eyes, for I will take you from among the nations, gather you out of all the countries, and bring you into your own land. Talking about Israel. Yes. But it's also talking about you and me. Our life <coughs> at times has profaned the name of God in our actions. Sometimes our actions to each other. Sometimes our action to people out in the world. I see many times when Sister Ford and I will go to Walmart around Christmas time, holiday times, and lines are backed up and they treat the cashier like it's their fault. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. You know, if they don't want long lines, Three o'clock in the morning is not a bad time to go out there and knock a long line. <laughs> so if you don't like to have long lines at Walmart, get up at three and go out there and do your shopping. And you know, you're not going to find a whole lot of people out there. But now that I've said that, all of you will go out there and everybody will stand in line again. <laughs> but we act like around people. That, you know, we are righteous in church. We raise our hands. We shout. We stomp our feet. You know, we do all the things that you do at church. And then we go out and uh, the world sees a person different than that. Do not be what you talk about being brings an abomination in the sight of God. To be something that God wants you to be, it is all the time. As I told you, you know, that they're at the hospital where they wanted to be around Sister Ford. They wanted to be where she was. Because in the midst even of that surgery, come back to the room and lay there in the bed with the pain from that knee and laugh and be who she is all the time. She don't put on here at church one thing and then go into the world and be something else. So when we go into Walmart, she sees some of these young ladies that are out there working Sometimes young men on the counter. And young to me is anything under 70. <laughs> Didn't used to be, but you know, anything to me is under, under 70 is young. And so she would see them that, you know, really seemed like they were struggling. And she'd go through, she'd buy a rolls and give it to the cashier. Just to say thank you. How often do we take our time 
out there in that world to let people know we're thankful mm -hmm. for the things that they do. Yes. Yes. Maybe it's nothing else but a, a smile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With or without teeth, it's still a smile. <laughs> and so people are, 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 are looking at our life and therefore when they see us and they see somebody who is not what they claim to be right then the nation looks at Christianity mm -hmm. as a whole. Amen. Come on, that's truth. One rotten apple spoils the whole bush. That's right. And if you are part of abundant life and you leave here and you act like one of the nasties out there, they think everybody in the church is that way. That's right. But if you act happy. If you act joyously, yeah. if you act friendly, well, if you act Christian, mm. then they're going to say, hey, that's a good church over there. They must all act that way. Mm. Unfortunately, it don't work that way no. on either side of that. Right. But it's very important for you and me to come to the place that we understand what God wants in our life. Amen. And He don't want us to be hypocrites. And, and the word hypocrite, if you do not know, was something that come from the Romans when they would have actors. They'd have one side of their face one thing, the other side of the face the other thing, and that was two-faced or hypocrite. Mm -hmm. yep. Be something on this side, be something on that side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, they look at you and me. And they take our actions. And whether they be the littlest one we have here in the church or the oldest that we have here in the church, your response and action toward them makes a difference. Yes, it does. I mean, you know, uh, Wednesday night, uh, Angelina said, can I help you sing? And I want to sing uh, Little Red Box. And then, you know, how old is Angelina? She's four. She's four. <laughs> and so she wanted to come up here and she sat down back there with the, on the seat with the microphone. And so she would be, we'd be singing, oh, I wish I had a little red box to put my Jesus in. I'd take him out and I'd pray all day and never put him back again. And then we then we take we we take people. And we put people in that little red box. Mm -hmm. And at the end of that, uh, you know, whoever, you know, like, I wish I had a little red box to put Madison in. I take her out and I go, you, you. 